Okay, so if you wanted to look at uh, the deviation from a point cloud to a CAD model, the easiest thing to do is use voxel display, which is within SA only, but you get this colorization, and uh, discrete colors is one way to do that. But what I wanted to show you here was the fact that you can do that with meshes as well, and you can actually export a mesh in segments, um, which might be useful if you are going into a CAD package like Rhino. So let me show you that real quick. So if you just go to the reporting tab and in the query section, there's you can query a cloud to CAD and build mesh result. So let's try that. So you just pick the cloud, you pick the surface, and then uh, you have a general kind of a, you know, what's the resolution of the mesh. You can probably do, you know, whatever you want for that, depending on how, how much uh, precision you want the edges to be. Uh, represented as. And then what you get is essentially the colorization controls that you may be used to for voxels themselves. And what I'm going to do is just set this using the same uh, colorization that I had for uh, that, that, that 3D colorization just so that we can match things up. And you hit OK. And what it does is it goes ahead and it builds mesh segments. So we have one here that um, basically there's no data, but you get the idea that it immediately builds separate mesh segments for each of the color zones, which can then easily be exported. Uh, and these meshes are of the actual cloud data. So if you wanted to look at uh, three-dimensional deviations, you can do that as well. But uh, another thing that I thought uh, you might find interesting is that each one of these mesh segments is now a separate piece. And if we were to want to identify the edges of a single piece, for example, let's say this one here, I can go and extract the contours. So you can build a contour B-spline that maps the contour of a particular mesh segment. So that, too, can get exported. So you have um, a set, you know, set of B-splines, you have a contours in mesh segments, and all of those can get exported as a STL or... Um, you know, in some other standardized format. So um, there you go.